What is up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Captain Flint here and we're back with Alan Wake Part 2. I'm just gonna jump straight into it. I'm super excited to continue. I'm gonna turn that off because it's making noise. I have no idea what I just turned off. Um, that's fine, it's fine. It, it was flashing green, green means good. Oh, okay, this, this means enemy. What gun do I have? I don't want to accidentally shoot a flare again. Okay, cool. Pistol. What's up? Damn, that is a lot of ammo. Whoa. I'm in shotgun bullets. Use the pistol for now. Bring it on, boy. I ain't afraid of no ghost. No. I lied, I'm afraid of ghost. Ah! Right, I just want to get to a better position. Can I shoot these? Can I shoot these? Explode, damn it! Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay. Ooh, boy. Ow, 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 ow. I'm gonna die. Run, 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 Get away. Ooh, ooh, ow, ow, ow. Okay, I'm really not in a good spot here. No, 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 I haven't used the shotgun before. It's, oh, it's only like a double barrel. Okay, that explains it. Whoa. Oh, that guy's fast. Okay, okay. Nope. Nope. This is creepy. No, I'm wasting so many flashlight batteries. I was not expecting a boss battle so quick. Oh shit! Ooh. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. I'm gonna shine this light right into your eyeball. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this. Please go away. How do I? He's not. Like the darkness isn't going away. And I'm not really sure how to get it to go away with this guy. I feel like these need to explode somehow. Ooh! No. No. Okay, there we go. Die, die, die! Oh no, oh no! Shotgun, shotgun! Yeah! Yeah! Pro gamer! Whoa, that was... Only a lifetime of nightmares to come. Assuming I'd reach the lights of the gas station alive. Ooh, okay, that was, uh, that was a bit more intense than I thought it would be. I was wondering this, if this game had, like, boss battles. Um... Apparently it does, and apparently it is very intense. Kind of cool though, I enjoyed it. Alright, I think I've got everything I need. I just want to check everything's loaded. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, where do I go? Hello, is there anything in woods? Where are they? I don't know why I said that, I just felt like doing a Batman voice. Don't judge me. I see you judging me. Don't do it. No. No. Stop it. Okay, that's better. You are forgiven. Um, I don't like these logs dangling above my head. It's scary. What is this? Oh, it's just empty barrels. Okay, I wasted so many bullets trying to make them explode. 
Guys, coffee mug, please leave a like if you enjoy coffee mugs. I love coffee mugs. It's not a mug, is it? It's a flask, flask, fuller. I don't know what you call it. I, I English good, yes. Okay, let's go. Let's press button. Open. Open now. There we go. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Gate. Ooh, I'm at the gas station. Yes. Oh, there's a deer fist statue. Nice. I recognized the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. Uh huh. I spotted it first, though. I win. Can I go up here? Yeah, I can. Hello? Hello, anybody here? Alright. What did that manuscript say was going to happen when you get into the gas station? Something about a TV turning on by itself? After the insanity I had just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting. At least for a moment, the same world reasserted itself. Yeah, I do agree. Seeing lights is, is, is wonderful. Yeah, it's wonderful! Ooh, manuscript. Yes, please. Where is it? It's this one, right? He spat on the garage floor and tried to shake the cobwebs from his head. Ever since the couple never showed to pick up the keys, things had been fuzzy. Something, a feeling caught his attention. Stucky looked up and stared as his brain tried in vain to process the horror before him. He stumbled back, knocking over a can of oil. A black pool spread across the floor while he struggled for a brief moment, then let go as the unrelenting darkness engulfed him. Sounds nice. Sounds like a good time. Focus. The deer road. fest had been two weeks away when we arrived. If the day count on the banner was right, I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. Hmm. That's not good, dude. You need to go see someone about that. Can't can't be losing weeks, bro. Can't be losing weeks. Didn't I just stare at this? Oh, I can I can stare at it all day long, I guess. Hello. The garage was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. All right. I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel her presence in the dark. Just now, I could smell her perfume in the room. I'll reach her. I'll fix it up. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. I don't believe this. It'd been me on the TV. Talking what? crazy. Was I losing my mind? To be honest, dude, I think you are losing it. So, what I'm thinking is... Like, I'm losing it somewhere writing. Right back in the cabin where um, my wife got the, the typewriter. So I'm writing this story, um, but I'm losing my mind, and it's like I'm living, I'm living the story I'm writing as I'm writing it. Uh, I don't know. That, that sounds stupid, but I think that's what's happening. Bright Falls Sheriff Station. Oh, thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are... I'm Alan Wake, but listen, I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wake. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake, not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Are you okay? Listen... We'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake, and then we'll go to the station, okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. Okay. Okay. Oh, 
What? So there's no island, no cabin. So where did I go then in the beginning? Because uh, I was there. Oh, okay. Welcome to Alan Wake. Um, the game is starting now. Um, Previously go for on Alan Wake. Oh, okay. I came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. Thank you for coming here with me. I thought maybe you could write here. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Now, she's missing. Alice? Alice? I woke up behind the wheel of a crashed car. I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at. But the cabin had disappeared. Episode 2. How did you not see Worst it? Worst weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. Hey, Why handsome. Are you <gasps> this is gonna be a coffee! long day. These shots are turning out great. I guess you're gonna need that coffee then. I'll go put it on. I got thermos. I happy. Well, okay, here's the kitchen. Turn Coffee's on coffee. On. Go to Alice. Never oh, hey. next I door just those cover to models. Alice. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Oh, is oh, that really? Me? Well, you seem to think so last night. Bow chicka bow wow. I'm sexy though. Okay, where's my desk? Because this is obviously your work area. Is my desk through here? Oh, it's locked. I'm locked out of my own house. So put it. Okay. I guess this is mine. These look really good. Oh, sure. Until Barry gets his hands on them, which, by the way, will happen over my dead oh, body. Oh, pick up manuscript. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speak. Sorry, yeah, I just gotta pause you. Oh, this is a episode two manuscripts. Okay, I don't remember if I got all the manuscripts for episode one. It's true what they say about the fall and the sudden stop at the end. I'd lain here in the snow while the lurid chain of scenes that had led me here kept playing in my head. A rerun of my own private snuff movie. A memory of my corpse. Alone at my own wake. Thinking in metaphors again. The femme fatale was gone. Only a sour taste remained of the kiss that killed me. Okay, that's a different voice. That's not Ellen. Ellen's voice. That's someone else. So I guess that's just the voice they chose for the book he was busy writing at this, this point. This was a late goodbye. Thirteen years after I'd gotten my revenge, it had finally caught up with me. It had been a long time to bear the pain. My blood painted the snow red. A gruesome slushy dissolved all the scattered painkillers and leisurely dripped down to the sewer mingling with the bile of the city, becoming one with it. I can see them now, my wife and my baby. Honey, I'm home. Okay. Barry, he called. <gasps> I'm coming, baby. Alan! Baby, I'm coming. Alan, I'm here. I'm check here. The fuse box. Why are I'm you right screaming? Here. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry. Okay, there's the fuse box. Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. I've got Bye. it. I you can okay? you see it? I'm sorry. I just it just really spooked me. Don't worry. 
We'll just break out the candles. I know it's stupid, but it's just... Especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, Ryder. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help you, too. <laughs> oh, you just had yeah, it. Yeah, nice story, Ryder boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you. Even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. feel, Mr. Wick? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wick, how are you feeling? I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Mm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Doc Nelson was the image of a small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. Examine. What am I examining? Oh, I'm sorry you had to cut your morning fishing short for this, Doc. Oh, she's a beauty, ain't she? Not the biggest I ever caught, if you can believe that coming from an old fisherman like me. But she's right up there. Now, she's a largemouth bass, which is what you're after if you prefer a lure. Now, if you want either trout or salmon, on the other hand, then it's fly fishing for you. Um, are you a fishing man, Mr. Wake? Oh, doesn't really matter, I suppose. But it can be very relaxing out there. You can't get me off the water this time of year. Closest thing to heaven. I'll take your word for it, Doc. So, I think I get the way this game is structured. It's like, it's structured as a TV series. So, you play um, episodes. Uh, that, I believe you'll find the sheriff sense. in her office. Thank, um, thank you, Doc. go down the court. I'm talking to my viewers, but just give me a second. I'll go talk to the fucking sheriff now. I'm busy. Alright, let me just go talk to the sheriff. I forgot what I wanted to say. <laughs> Thanks for nothing. Sheriff Station. Oh. Thank you for testing the lights, Miss Weaver. Everything seems to be fine. I don't have the luxury of being complacent, Deputy Grant. The bulbs will need changing soon. You can't change them in the dark. I'll be sure to take care of it, Miss Weaver. Mrs. Nice Weaver or Miss Weaver. I'll come back later. Where is the oh, coffee mug? Why do I keep saying coffee mug? It's a thermos. I don't know. It just feels Mr. Better. Wake, the sheriff is waiting for you in her office down the corridor. Thank you very much. We that have a good Cynthia day. Weaver. I guess you can call her the town eccentric. Whoa. She used to be what the can editor I interact of a local newspaper, but Read. she's focused what am I on um, other things these days. Read. Oh. Disappeared. Identifying features. Knack for whining contests. Knack! Or is it knack for whining contests? I, I don't understand how that's a identifying feature. Oh, winning con Oh my- Oh, no. Oh, no. Knack for winning contests. Again, I don't I don't see how that's an identifying feature. So if you want to find this guy, just just put on a contest. If he wins it, you know, ah, must be must be this guy. Come in, 
Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Thank you. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me. I need to take this. Hello? Alan, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're gonna meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Mr. Lover's Ray, can Peak. I help you with anything? Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. We're watching you. I need to get some air. The hey, sheriff said I could go out hey, back. Hey, mister! Hey, can you turn the light? The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. Yeah, that's where I'm heading. Okay, I'm here. Do I have to go around? <gasps> Furnace! Yeah! There's so many of them around. The caller had told me to find a hole in the fence behind the police station. There was something for me in an abandoned car. Okay. Where's the hole though? Oh, I guess, I guess that's the big wooden plank there. Okay, let's go. Do I just push it out of the way? Oh! You absolute beast! Destroy that piece of wood. Manuscript, thank you. Wake at lovers. The kidnapper peak. fired his gun one last time, and the shadow vanished into the darkness it had come from. See? Nothing to it, Wake. The thought of Alice in his hands was revolting. We stood on the wooden platform of Lover's Peak, the waterfall on the mountain behind us, the lights of the radio mast blinking red in the heights above. I fought with the urge to take a swing, forced myself to speak. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? Okay. Some lovely foreshadowing Alice's in this driver's game. driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week. You and Alice. Oh, I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Al, what the hell is going on? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. Oh, I can't do anything with that. Okay. I guess I'll come back to it. Exit the sheriff's station. Okay. Do I just go through the front door? Ooh, another manuscript. I missed it. Pick it up, please. Thank you. The dark prisons in the diner. Human mask to describe the dark presence as intelligent would have implied human qualities on something decidedly inhuman. Nonetheless, it found the one spot in the diner that was dark enough. Some light spilled into the corridor, ravaging it. But it took the pain, horrible as it was. The writer would soon fix that. He would be coming to the one place where it still had power. Okay. Me not understand. A writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. Oh. Okay. Marvelous, Sarah. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused on their recent me. and 
regrettable. I'm just, I'm just gonna head out real quick. Are you quick. feeling any better, Mr. Wake? Oh. I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about- Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh! Hey, oh! Take it easy. Hey, nobody move! Get your hands off of my client! Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. Barry! If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were going to lock you up. I like Barry. I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money, and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him! Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just mm. thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later! <laughs> Who's Max? Simp. What an airhead. Jeez, mister takes a swing at everybody. This is not her very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. She even has a fan site dedicated to you. And she was very helpful when I was looking for you. Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car? Just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy? And his body just disappeared? When was the last time you slept? Well, are you high? Have you been drinking? No! Look, Barry, I haven't seen a week, and someone's got Alice, and Do everything's just- you understand what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong, it's a good story, could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Right, wait here. Oh, okay, talk to Rusty. Mr. Rusty! I hate that I'm running Easy in there, small boy. environments I'm like this. Done. Hey, Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing Aww. the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, I'll, I'll, sure. I'll, I'll do that now. I just want to look happened? at the cute doggy. Crazy poachers. Max here got his foot caught in a trap. They're illegal to use here. Hell, you're not supposed to hunt within the park at all. But that doesn't stop some lowlifes. <sighs> well, at least Max is gonna be okay. He got lucky. I'm glad. Max is still groggy from the shot I gave him, and I'd rather not leave him alone just yet. The form's on the desk across from Seriously, the family. Seriously, Al, you can't just go and meet a kidnapper. Those <gasps> situations always end up in disaster. Thermos, yay. You gotta talk to the cops. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No. This whole thing it... Listen, you hit your head. I mean, jeez, Al, come on. You gotta understand how crazy all this sounds. If you're trying to pull a joke on me, freak me out, it's working. Barry, I don't, I don't have know. time for you now. I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. Thank you. 
Well, that manuscript I read. See. Yeah, exactly what I was just talking about. So the manuscript I read said that the kidnapper is going to have Alice, and we're going to be on like a type of standoff underneath that that uh, tower there. So yeah, it's lovely foreshadowing. You're asking me to believe that you shot a dude who went poof into thin air. A guy who was bulletproof until you pointed a flashlight at him. Do you hear that from people uh, who end up spending time in padded rooms? I don't care, Barry. I saw it. It's just crazy talk, Al. Everybody Al. saw it. Al? We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry, the killer. This is not a goddamn debate, Barry. <laughs> I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help and I'll do it. You stay here and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. <laughs> These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist. Or it'll be deliverance all over again. Achoo! Bless you. Oh, this place is trying to kill me. I'll bet there's mold in here, spores, poison ivy, God knows what. This is so not worth a 15% commission. <laughs> okay, whatever. Whatever you, you say, you stop complaining. Where? 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 Okay, okay. Corona, done. Stop it, Al! Okay, 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 cool. I like the fact that he actually can play and he shine, shine the flashlight into his face. Alright, guys, I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to call that it for part two. Um, I made it a bit shorter than part one. Part one was an hour and this one is about 30 minutes. Um, uh, I did, I did get some feedback from a f uh, few friends of mine saying that the video was a bit too long. So, yes. In part three, we will go up to Lover's Peak and we'll check out what happens there. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like. Consider subscribing. Um, every little bit of uh, effort helps. And interact, please. Leave a comment. Have a chat with me. I'll uh, I'll definitely answer you as soon as I get the chance. Um, there's no need, reason to be shy. I really, I really would like to interact with my viewers a bit more. So if you guys want to leave me a comment, leave me a suggestion. If you've got a game you'd like me to play, maybe or whatever it might be, um, please don't hesitate. I would, uh, I'd really like to to chat with you guys a little bit. But that's all the time I've got. Um, I'm gonna call that uh, part two, and that's Captain Flint out.